Hey, what's up guys? I'm Rob Richards with Bluestone Nutraceuticals and welcome back to another incredible faster fat loss workout. Throughout today's video, I'm gonna be running you through a 20 minute follow along full body workout. And the great thing is we only need a couple of pairs of dumbbells, a heavy pair and a light pair. So if you're ready to follow along, make sure you hit that like button, you hit that notification and subscribe button and let's get into it. Just like every great workout, we need a great warm up. I'm already warmed up, I'm ready to go, but if you do need a warm up, I encourage you to pause this video and check the link in the description below. You'll find an incredible seven minute full body warm up. Go check that out, get nice and warm, get your pump on, and then join me back here and we'll get started. Are you ready? Great. First exercise is gonna be an overhead press, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds rest. We're gonna follow that through throughout round one. So, I'm gonna pick up my heavier dumbbell set here in three, two, one. Now with this one, just keep your cadence under control, just like you would normally do 10, 12 reps. <sighs> Exhale on the effort. <sighs> and right from the get go, you're gonna start to incorporate that mindful training. <sighs> Consciously squeezing and engaging those shoulders at the top of the rep. 30 seconds goes by quickly. Make the most of your recovery. Big deep breaths in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. I love to really be on point with my breathing because as you're gonna find out throughout this workout, our heart rate's gonna get up, the intensity is gonna get up. We're gonna need our breathing to allow us to control that heart rate. Heavy dumbbells again, back on the floor. Floor press. Let the elbows touch down. Drive it up. Squeeze the chest. I keep saying this is a marathon, not a race. So you don't need to go super fast with these reps. Keep it under control. Keep that engagement on the chest at the top of the rep. Make sure we're working the right muscles here. We've got some dumbbell curls next. So let's start to get some mobility going in the wrists. Again, mindful of the muscles we're training. We're not bringing the elbow all the way up, keeping it nice and strict. You ready? Let's jump into it. Shoulders back. I'm gonna keep my palms forwards on these. Both arms at the same time. And check this out. I'm not fully lengthening my arms. This already, I'm feeling it. The reason for this, I keep more tension on the biceps. So, fuller, bigger arms, better separation, greater conditioning, you got it. Let's push through, round one. Only gets harder from here. Each round, we're gonna increase the intensity, we're gonna decrease our recovery. Whew. Double edge sword. I got some amino fast there, I got a towel. Make sure that you've got what you need at your side so we can see this workout through. Goblet squat. Now you can do one dumbbell or both. We're gonna start off with one. Palms under the underside. We're gonna sit down into that. Again, we're not rushing it. Hips sit back. Knees remain stacked over the ankles. We're gonna get the quads to work. Drive up into that movement. Focus on that breathing. Four in. One left, ask yourself this, how are you feeling? On a scale of one to 20, where are you? 10, 12? I'm about at eight at the moment. We'll see how I go once we're through rounds two and three. Got some trump, got some overhead extensions with this one. I'm gonna pick the lighter dumbbell pair. 
Arms straight up, keep the upper arms fixed at the side of the head. And if I turn sideways here, you can see. Upper arms remain fixed upright. Full range of motion. Squeezing the triceps up at the top. Got to push through, finish strong on each round. All right, 30 seconds rest. Round two, we're going to pick up the pace. 40 seconds of work, half the rest time, 20 seconds. You need to hydrate, now's a good time, the end of each round. Round two, 40 seconds of work. Whew. Remember, your rate of perceived exertion, where are you? Whew. Exhale on the effort. Whew. Lower back down, we're not bouncing the weights. Under control. These kind of workouts are weekly fast to fat loss workouts. It's not about how much weight you can lift. It's about how much weight you can keep moving. Oh. Yeah, I'm needing that rest. Let's push through. Heart rate's starting to go up. My breath work is becoming harder. A little deeper, right into it. Take our dumbbells down. Elbows on floor. Push and press, driving those dumbbells up. Squeezing the chest, control back down. All the time, we're flexing at the top of the rep. Squeeze that chest. Lower back down. Cool, start to feel that pump. How are you guys doing? Let me know. Shout out that number. One to 20, where are you? On that rate of perceived exertion. Ooh. Shake it out. Hydrate. Grab that minnow fast, grab that water. That rest time is shortened. You're gonna to start to feel that tense even more. Dumbbell curls, same heavy weight. I'm gonna alternate these. One arm at a time. And look, the variation. I'm adding that rotation in. Working some of that forearm muscle. Plus I'm also giving each arm a little rest. My right arm's rested, but it's still holding that weight just an easier approach to keep lifting that weight for longer without burning yourself out. But hey, if you've got the strength and you wanna do both at the same time for 40 seconds, push through. Yeah, it's putting work. 20 seconds, make the most of it. Control your breathing. legs coming up. Goblet squat. I'm going to go back to one. Ask yourself, have you got it within you to pick up both? Maybe I'll do that in the next two rounds. Abs pulling tight. Exhale on the effort. Hips, butt, whatever you want to call it, push it back. Back and down. Really drive your feet through the floor as you push yourself back up. We're not pushing the dumbbell up. That's kept by my chest. Muscular endurance. Repetition. I asked you earlier in round one, what's your rate of perceived exertion? Mine was about an A. I'm probably at an 11, 11, 12 right now. And we've got two more rounds to go. Let's get that energy up there. All right, 
Last exercise, round two. Overhead, extend back, and flex. You notice as well, I'm not trying to rush these. It's not about how many reps you can get in. I want you to just finish the set. Each exercise with constant movement. If you need to slow down your reps, even pause a little bit up at the top, do what you need to, but just keep moving. We've got 20 seconds. We've got two more rounds left. Do what you need to do. Hydrate, towel yourself off. We're gonna start to push a little bit harder now. Okay, we got those overhead presses now. 50 seconds of work, which means only 10 seconds of rest. Let's get down to work. The muscles are burning, you're starting to sweat, starting to ache, reach muscle failure. Think about that end goal. That burn can get pretty intense. Whew. If you need to, there's no shame in taking a, a brief rest, as long as you don't let it linger. Pick the weights back up, keep driving. Four, three, full range of motion. Two, move one. Ah, but we've only got 10 seconds of rest. Make the most of it. All right, floor presses. Down we go. Burning our shoulders and arms. Oh boy, that effort rating is up to about 14 right now. I don't know where you are, but I am working. Big chest. Drop the weights up, squeeze, control back down, and repeat. Let's go, let's keep going. We've got a goblet squat. I know I said I might try with those two weights, but those 10 seconds comes up quick on us. I'm gonna go back to our single weight and just keep working. Again, this is much more about muscular endurance. Keeping the muscles working for time. It's a great way to utilize body fat as fuel. Let me say that again. This is working body fat, your body fat, as fuel. That's energy, energy to get this workout done. So, we're not going super heavy. We're making the muscles work for time. You feeling it? You feeling it in the legs yet? Whew, I am. Now, I flipped the script on that one. I don't know if you caught me. We did goblet squats. Should have hit the biceps. I'm gonna throw them in now. I'm gonna go back one at a time. That's okay. As long as you're working, you can mix these exercises up. If you're watching me do these and you think, ah, Rob, I need to hit my legs at this point. I've been hitting arms, too much upper body, chest. Do that, but just make it work for you. and loaded. Thinking about how good I'm gonna feel at the end of this workout. I might reach 18 or 19 on that perceived exertion scale, but guarantee you this, what you're gonna feel after this workout, it's gonna be better than that. But we're gonna put that work in first. Okay, we got those overhead tricep extensions. A lot of work in the arms. 
gonna go back to my lighter set. Off we go, 50 seconds of work. We're gonna tighten, tone, strengthen the back of the arms, but not just the arms. Abs are working, keep them tight. Brace the abs, good foundation. And notice I'm not bouncing the knees. Solid. Got to have a good foundation from which we work. Boy, those triceps. I'm used to 20, maybe 30 seconds of work. Doesn't matter how strong we might be. It's what our bodies are used to. These 50 seconds creeps up on you. Push through. A little rest is okay as long as we pick it back up. Ooh. Okay, almost there. One round left. Ha. One minute each. Here we go. Overhead press first. At this point, I'm just trying to get as many reps in. Maybe 10 or 12. If I need a brief pause, I will. Shoulders are burning here. Instead of failing on the reps, I'm just gonna put the weights down, give myself a few seconds. Remember, 60 seconds of work. That's a bit of time. That's only halfway through. Pick it back up, let's get a further 10. One, two, three, four, oh boy, five, let's push through. Six, seven, uh, need a few seconds. Three, two, one. Come on, Rob. Let's keep pushing. Two, one. Oh, we're going straight into our broad presses. Chest is on fire. It's a bit late to the game. Let's catch up. Got those 10, 12 reps in. If you've got more left in, you keep pushing. If you need to, take a short rest. Remember, if the muscles are reaching failure, rest three, four seconds, get back into it. I don't want you to start to break down on your technique and your form. Seconds of work seems a lot longer than we might used to. Get ready for curl. That's our 10 seconds. Up to you. You go with the heavier weight or the lighter weight. Let's keep going. I'm going to alternate. Really making those arms work. Where are you now on that rate of perceived exertion scale, that RPE? What's your RPE? For me, <laughs> I think I'm about 16 at this point. Arms are burning. Again, it's not about how much weight you can lift. It's about your muscular endurance. And again, utilizing body fat as fuel. So if you're struggling and you need to pick up that pace and get a few more reps out, just think about where that fuel is coming from. That's why we do these for time. We're not just doing 10 seconds. Okay, almost there. No breaks on this one. Oh, goblet squat. Go right into it. Squeeze up with the quads. Stick your hips down and back. We're holding this dumbbell under, keeping it nice and vertical, and keeping the weight slightly in front of our center of mass. So it's essential that you really do lean back and you're not just concentrating the body down. Got about a minute 20 left, and that includes the last exercise. Let's go big now. Are you with me? No breaks? It's a big effort. Well done. Find a few reps. 
Oh, I am aching, I am burning, but we're gonna go back into it. Both arms. Just focused on that end time now. Just doing as many reps as I can within this final minute. Oh, triceps are burning. I'm trying to push through, but I want to keep my form proper. Okay, I'm gonna shake it out, reset. Okay, we got this to the end. Straight back up. Our arms remain fixed. This is it. Final 15 seconds. Few more reps. Ah, that is it. Time. Ah, listen, give yourself a round of applause. This was no easy feat. You might look at these dumbbells and think, nah, they're not that heavy, they're not really that big. For 20 minutes of work, it doesn't matter. It's about how efficient your muscles are at working for time, that's the key here. If you wanna shed body fat, you wanna get that tight, toned, fit body, you need to be doing a combination. Weights, cardio, and just workouts like these, faster fat loss. Guys, thank you, you did great. I can't wait to see how you improve on our next faster fat loss workouts. Again, drop me a comment in this video. Let me know if you like these style of follow along workouts. If you follow along, you take breaks like me, favorite, not so favorite exercise, let me know, drop me a comment. Make sure you hit that like button. I want to see that you like these videos. And also make sure you are subscribed with notifications turned on. Go grab yourself an ISO Smooth. You deserved it. I'll catch you on the next video. Keep training hard. Stay strong. Stay focused. See you then.